Can you combine dihexo with DMSO, put it in a nicotine patch for more bioavailability? So this is actually a really awesome question. I really like it. And if you're not familiar with these compounds, pay attention because they are quite interesting. So DMSO is quite intriguing because it is one of the most, if not the most, powerful skin penetration enhancers in existence. So for the vast majority of compounds, if it is applied to the skin alongside DMSO, even if, if normally it does not absorb transdermally, the DMSO allows it to be potently bioavailable through the skin. So if something has near 100% oral bioavailability, you won't get much out of it by administering it transdermally with DMSO. But if the oral bioavailability is low, you may. Now, nicotine transdermal bioavailability is up to 90%, so DMSO won't really increase total absorption by much, but it may make the nicotine absorb much more quickly, which could make it feel more like a Zin pouch, you know, that you'd put in your mouth rather than a transdermal patch. I may actually consider testing this out. The issue is that DMSO, it's pretty indiscriminate, so any toxins within the adhesives on the nicotine patch, those may be absorbed as well. How big of a deal is this? I'm not really sure, but it does make me a little apprehensive. Now, we're not sure the precise oral bioavailability of dihexa, but it's probably below 50%, and there's a chance you could absorb more transdermally with DMSO. Now, dihexa, it's a potent neuroplasticity enhancing compound, a spouse to be orders of magnitude stronger than BDNF. I'm extra cautious with this compound because it is extremely potent and generally, you know, dihexa exerts long-term structural brain changes rather than providing you some acute nootropic effect. So, Personally, there's just not really enough advantages for me to attempt to transdermally administer dihexa. And for all your supplement needs, check out the free Natty Plus cheat sheet. It is in the description below.